Hey friends, thank you for tuning in. I'll be showing you how to do the jasmine stitch while my dogs wrestle in the background. Sorry for that noise. I have a swatch of double crochet. So the reason that's there, you're gonna be building on this type of row in the pattern. What you do when you're ready to begin this stitch is have a length about an inch or so for a loop. And you're essentially going to do a puff stitch to start. So you'll yarn over, push through into the first stitch, yarn over and pull back out up to that length. Again, yarn over, push through, yarn over, and back up. So now we have five loops on our hook, and they're all the height that our jasmine stitch row is going to be. Again, it's about an inch. From here, you're gonna just stick a finger in there or pinch the yarn at the base, but we wanna leave a little gap. So you yarn over, pull through, but again, the, the yarn hasn't pulled all the way through. We can access that. Insert into that space that you've saved, yarn over, and pull up. So now we have two little loops and then a space that's going to help maintain our stitch and, and let us work into that later. Yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. So you always have to start the row with a puff stitch. From there, you're going to be doing essentially three puff stitches all together. They'll build up, they'll point down, and then we're going to stitch a couple and then it's going to anchor down a couple stitches over. You'll have a lot of yarn on your hook, so also just be mindful of keeping everything uh, put together. So build that height, again about an inch, I just go to my first joint, wrap, push through into the, the gap that we've already created here, this little chain space, or not chain space, excuse me. Um, the pull through two that we made. So now we have three, yarn over, push through, yarn over, and pull up. Hang on to that, yarn over. Our second space is going to be at the bottom of the puff stitch that we first created. Insert that hook, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, Insert, yarn over, and pull back up. Okay, there's our four. Hang on to that. Yarn over. We are going to skip two spaces and insert into the third stitch. Insert, yarn over, pull up about an inch. Again, you can always just kind of measure to your first joint. Yarn over, insert, yarn over pull up. We have our four here. So now we have three separate puff stitches. Pinch the base of that yarn. Yarn over, pull through all of the loops. You should have four, eight, twelve, plus the thirteen from when we started. So thirteen. All the way through. Still got that yarn there. I'm going to insert, yarn over, pull that up. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops. This will be the stitch that we'll work into in the next row. You can see where this three puff pattern is going to start to take shape later on. So I'm going to work silently to the end of the row. I'm going to work a little slow so you can kind of keep seeing it. There. So now this is the puff we're working off of. to it. 
skip one, two, into the third. Okay, so as you continue to work down to the end of the row, you will skip two each time until you actually have two stitches left at the very end. So in the pattern, instead of skipping two and inserting into the third, you will just come up one short. And that's not going to matter for the rest of the rows. You'll see here in a moment where when we turn around, the spaces are just determined for us because we'll just be working into these little jasmine stitches. So it's really easy. This is also definitely the reason you need a jumbo skein of yarn. This is a bit of a yarn eater, but it just turns out so beautiful. I don't even care. So here simulating the end of the row in the sweater pattern, I was mentioning before we can't skip two and insert into the third. That is okay. For the very last stitch, you are just going to continue your three points, but you'll only skip one stitch. So we've finished the row. For the jasmine stitch, you turn and you always start your next row with a single puff stitch. You have to hang on to that yarn though to make this little loop. There we go. And then now we're ready to go. You've got spaces one, two, three predetermined for you. This would be the second row. The pattern calls for five rows total. After that, you will work double crochets into the puff stitches here. And you'll continue with the rest of the panel. For the double crochets, you'll be able to fit one, two, and three stitches per jasmine. Two, three. So that'll continue on the other side. Hope this helps. If you have questions, please let me know. You can see where this is starting to form that pretty shape. Um, if I can clarify anything, definitely reach out. Thanks so much, guys.